Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan, and we're talking NFL Draft. We're going team by team using the DraftNetwork.com's predictive board for their mock draft simulation, using one team at a time. And um, we're getting into the AFC South now, starting it off with the Colts. Now, they fixed their offensive line with Quentin Nelson. Um, any team could have fixed their entire offensive line with this man. He's a generational talent. It was fantastic to watch last season. Um, keeping Andrew Luck upright in the year that he came back from his injury extremely effectively was very important for this team. Um, they also picked up Darius Leonard, and he did wonders for that defense. It's amazing how just one really talented linebacker that's built for the... Um, cover two system that they use had just had an effect across the entire defense. Um, so that was very, very fun to watch for the Colts last season. I don't have to tell you Colts fans, you went, um, you did pretty well last uh, regular season. And that translated to a good win in the postseason. Should have been two. I, I think they, um, they could have gone further, but um, we'll save that for this year, obviously. Your number one pick this year is number 26. Now, at this position, I think the most effective thing you can do to provide immediate impact for your team is to give Andrew Luck another good target. With T.Y. Hilton there and um, a rejuvenated running game and obviously a great offensive line now, Another target to take pressure off of Hilton will make this offense more multiple than it is right now and um, give it the kind of talent that you see in you know, Kansas City or you know, Los Angeles with the Rams or the Chargers, either one of them. Um, having a depth of talent across the offense is just hell for a defense. So at this pick, I went with Nikhil Harry. Wide receiver out of Arizona State. I don't understand why a lot of people aren't talking more about this guy. I think, out of the film that I've watched, he's probably one of the top two receivers. Yeah, that kind of talented. Now, I didn't pay attention to his combine workout, like everybody who's in love with DK Metcalf. I paid attention to his tape, okay? He's very, very good at fighting for contested balls. He's got the size you want out of the position. He's not an absolute burner, but he's fast enough, okay? And he will complement a player like T.Y. Hilton extremely, extremely well. So getting Nikhil Harry into this offense with this quarterback and the other talent around him, he should step in almost immediately with 40 to 50 catches and um, really spread opposing defenses out a lot more, keeping pressure off of T.Y. Hilton. And um, that'll do wonders for this team in the playoffs. Pick number 34. Almost a first-rounder, okay? So you're going to have first-round talent kind of players get pushed down if they're in the correct position. And... Um, Defensive front being as deep as it is in this draft, you're going to have a defensive front line player um, that would have gone in the first round in other years available at this pick. So I went with Dexter Lawrence, defensive tackle out of Clemson, because he fell to that pick in this simulation. And anytime that happens, you snap him up. Okay? Getting a talent like that out of Clemson in front of Darius Leonard will free him up a lot more and only make him that much more lethal, okay? That is going to be a gigantic upgrade. They knew last year that you upgrade the line, all of a sudden the other positions look better on offense. The same thing happens on defense. You upgrade your line and the other positions look better. Now, Leonard and the defensive secondary did pretty well last year. They're going to do even better with somebody like Dexter Lawrence in front of them. Now, at pick number 59, 
We do have some work to do on this defense. Leonard isn't the entire defense, although you'll think that hearing me talk. Um, safety. Darnell Savage out of Maryland is going to be available at this pick, and if he is, I would snap him up, okay? The defensive secondary can use a man of his talents, and um, he would be an instant upgrade to a lot of defensive secondaries at safety. The Colts is no different. He'll step in and play right away and be an upgrade to this position. He'll also be effective for help on special teams, which um, would help any team. Lastly, pick number 89, as we're only going through top 100 picks because they're the only players that you can really expect to play frequently, uh, I went with Jamal Dean, corner out of Auburn. Corner with size, speed, athleticism. Uh, these things are very, very important in the cover two system. Now, it's not pick number 30, it's pick number 89. You're not expecting this guy to be one of your top two corners right away. He's likely going to play nickel spot a lot more than anything early in his career. His size puts him at a number one or number two corner. His head for the game isn't there yet, though. So he's going to be your third or fourth guy in his rookie year as he learns. He'll likely develop into a number one or number two corner over time. But, yeah... I mean, don't bet on it. Drafts are always a gamble. What you're looking for is projecting what their cap is at this point. Um, you find somebody who's athletic and has some talent and a head on their shoulders and hoping that they can develop into a position that their frame fits. And in this case, you're looking for him to develop into being a number one or number two corner, which you could use on this defense. So enjoy it, Colts fans. A huge upgrade to your defense and another target for Andrew Luck will make very big differences for this team moving forward. They have a lot of cap space still, which I'm not sure why they're not spending, but the draft was how they effectively brought their team around into the position they were in last year. I see that trend continuing. They've got a lot of talent in the front offense, and um, the coaching staff seems to work well with that front office and identifying what they would like in the draft. I expect it to continue, and I expect them to get a huge upgrade this year.